During my dreadful 20 minute commute at 6 a.m. on a Monday morning, I thought to myself, why did I choose to volunteer during my last college summer break ever? Well, I guess I was about to find out. As I reached St. Mary's Medical Center, which is a local hospital around my house in Langhorne, I walked into a volunteer room where I put on my trendy red polo. I received the pleasure of being a care mate. This was one of the numerous positions St. Mary's offered to its students. Others included working in the ER or at the front desk. I was basically a nurse's assistant. I headed up to the fourth floor, which was my assigned floor. I realized this was a critical patient's floor. So as I walked up, I was nervous because my slightest mistake could go badly. But as I entered the floor, I was greeted kindly by the five nurses whom I worked alongside once a week for six hours. They offered me food and had great conversations with me. I realized this was only because it was only 6 a.m. and half the patients were sleeping, so there's not much work to do. But as it struck seven, the buzzer started going off, and this was my cue. I didn't mind because it was my duty to take care of the patients. The buzzer indicated that the patients needed help. So I went from room to room. Some of the patients just simply wanted water or something from their belongings, while others wanted their bedsets changed or garbage taken out. This is when my duty got difficult. I changed about 30 bed pins a day from sheets, blankets, and pillowcases and took garbage bags out bigger than me. As the day progressed, I seemed to be doing more and more work, like paperwork or inputting in the database and checking up on the patients, while what it seemed like the nurses were just sitting there reading the newspaper and talking to each other. But it was okay, they still helped me and answered all my questions about, my, about the nursing career. One benefit of this experience was I received a lunch break which meant I got a food pass and I could eat anything in the cafeteria. These were the easiest hours of my shift, from 11 to 12. Since most of my patients were elder, they needed help ordering food and needed to be fed, which was something I got to do. And while I was doing that, I, I got the chance to talk to the patients. They told me many interesting stories about what happened to them and why they were in the hospital. Others told me stories about their family, their friends, and lifetime experiences. I learned a lot from these patients, and they treated me with great respect. Seeing the happy faces of each patient as I walked in and the sad patient, sad faces wanting me not to leave as I walked out made a huge impact on me. In conclusion, I realized I chose to volunteer to learn life lessons from the patients and to gain a hands-on experience from the nurses.